Morning, evening, and afternoon, everyone. Will Sebastian here, Pro Multi Asset Day Trader, co founder, co mentor at the Trading Mentor. Don't forget, again, we're going live on Zoom teaching traders all around the world. Now, I've made several uh, trades on my live account yesterday that I filmed. I have titled this one Pound Board Analysis. Um, I had a couple of shorts. I'm now going to remove them for gains. You can see I shorted them up here. I'm going to go through why, and I'm going to go through where I want to go from now. So you had sticky inflation, um, hawkish uh, view, in other words, that's likely to come from it via the Reserve Bank of Australia. It's tumbled your pound hard, uh, moved your euro ord as well. Now, I was sure mostly... Um, because you had a push up here and the underlying sentiment was already favoring the odd over the pound. So I was short early on. I did it in a small size. Um, I do like it long now, trading counter sentiment. Just going to pop a light entry in. Um, just as an example, like I said, this account is just uh, so everyone can see really the process. Um, and the reason why I like it long there, quite simply, I mean, you've got long term technical areas uh if you go to your daily for example you can see that there's absolutely bags of price action all around here it's a really rough zone for price to have to come through um really you can see you went sideways for a long time where you're coming now is the exact midpoint okay right through the middle so you can see candle wicks all along here tons of rejection absolutely loads of it Coupled with that, you've got what somewhat looks like a market maker stop. Basically, you know, anyone who would have had a stop loss here has been wiped out. Uh, you'll see loads of videos on this from, from other people. Uh, but it could be the case that price has dipped in here. You get larger bodies in the market who want better deals. And that's why stops get taken. They're market maker stops. Okay, the market maker loads in uh, against you. And, um, you know, they, they causes everyone who had stops to lose money and it allows them to get a good deal. That's the point here. Um, they need that lower price so they can they can get a better deal than if they were long here because their, their orders are such high volume. So at the moment, you have got more dovish case from the Bank of England versus the Reserve Bank of Australia who are now talking... Um, you know, they'll be on the wires, definitely. But consumer price index uh, came out about 2 a.m. GMT last night. OK, um, and it's problematic. You know, the inflation isn't dropping like they thought it would. Um, misses across the board in forecast. You had Australian CPI QOQ actual was 1% forecast 0.8. So high there. Uh, weighted median C CPI QOQ uh, quarter on quarter actual 1.1%. Okay, forecast from 0.9 again higher. Um, and then Australian CPI year on year actual forecast 3.5 uh, and it came in at 3.6. It's not dropping uh, like they would like it. So that's a problem. And um, you may find that you know, you'll get support in your, your Australian dollar as time goes on. Um, especially with the Bank of England saying that they want to follow the Eurozone and the case looks a little bit better um, over there than it does in the US. And, uh, you know, that's where they feel they're going. Any further falls, I'm really going to space out because of that sentiment, probably look long, much lower. Uh, stochastic oscillator already low. You're starting to get mean reversion or a pull away from your NAs. Down here is your really risk averse spot. But I'm out for gains this morning. Um, I'm rebuying and I'll probably take early gains on a rise. Um, but if you want to learn how to trade like this for income, go ahead, go underneath, come and join us because we'll be live again on Zoom today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.